for police in Hampton Roads with a spike in gun violence. The question is, what can be done to address the issue? Well, today local leaders discuss ways to try and prevent gun violence. News 3 reporter Brendan Fonton live for us at the Norfolk Police Department. So, Brendan, what are some of the potential solutions? The short of it is that it's just a complicated problem, but police chiefs across the area, including here in Norfolk, say this is an issue the entire community needs to address. In a striking moment during a roundtable discussion on gun violence prevention, Eugene Swinson shared the story of recently picking up a 16-year-old in Portsmouth for a job. Picked the kid up to go do a job, and he came to the car with a gun on me. He's 16 years old. Swinson is the head of Big Homies Community Outreach, a program meant to intervene and help kids from getting involved in gangs with things like day jobs. And I told him, like, like you don't need that today. Like, you good. You don't need that today. So his attitude from the time he got in the car to the time to after they did the job, he turned into a kid again. And I only had them for three hours. Swinson and other community leaders say kids need mentors they can relate to and activities to keep them busy, all of which need funding. Community leaders, elected officials, and law enforcement gather this morning in Norfolk for a roundtable discussion on preventing gun violence. So I just feel like if we get a lot more people or, or, or a lot more situations or opportunities for these kids, then you'll start seeing the kid in them. Nationwide and in Hampton Roads, gun violence has been a problem this summer. The new police chief of Portsmouth, Renato Prince, says it's about more than just arresting people or seizing guns. We can show you a table full of guns. And then what? Then where are we going to go from there? Norfolk's police chief well, Larry Boone says efforts need to be made to stop the flow of illegal guns into the wrong hands and also having community members intervene. I think that's the approach. You start from both ends and work yourself towards the middle. Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring says he wanted to hear from the community to learn how his office can help. It's very complex and it's going to require a, uh, a comprehensive community-wide response. And as the violent summer ends, Chief Boone says Hampton Roads has no choice but to do something. It's too early to tell uh, whether things are getting better. Um, my God, we have no choice for things to get better. And here in Norfolk, Chief Boone says right now crime is down double digits in September, but the chief notes we're only seven days into the month. Live in Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.